Hello, friends. The Charlottetown Blue Fins, our local swim team here in Prince Edward Island, is holding a fundraiser so they can raise funds to purchase some new equipment. Please consider donating even a small amount to help support a team that helps so many children. We may be located far from you, but your contribution will make a real difference in many young kids' lives. A link to the donation page can be found in our latest stories show notes. Thank you. Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. Bernice has a doctor's appointment today, and she is feeling a bit nervous about it. Bobby has told her some things that the doctor is going to do, and so she is hiding under her blankets, hoping Papa Bear won't be able to find her. Papa Bear tells her that Bobby sometimes likes to exaggerate, and that everything will be fine at her appointment. Let's see how Bernice does at her doctor's appointment. Bernice visits the doctor. Good morning, little bear. Are you awake yet? Papa Bear said as he gently pushed Bernice's shoulders. No, Papa. I'm sleeping in today until noon, Bernice said from under the blankets. Sleeping until noon? That's not like you, little bear. You are usually up early. But on those days I have school, or it's a day when we have other fun things to do. Today is not fun at all. It's a scary day. A scary day? Why is today a scary day, little bear? It's sunny outside, and it's warm. And I have something special made for breakfast. I think it just might be a perfect day, Papa Bear said. It's not a perfect day at all when you have to go to the doctor, Papa. It's super scary. Bobby said the last time he went to a doctor, the doctor hit his knee with a great big hammer, stuck a great big needle in his arm, and didn't even give him a lollipop when he left. I like my knees, Papa. I don't want a doctor to hurt them, Bernice said as she kept cuddling with Twigga under the blanket. That Bobby always likes to tell silly stories. I think Bobby has an overactive imagination and a tendency to exaggerate. You know that he likes to scare you a little bit. I promise that going to see the doctor this morning will not be like that at all. It might even be fun. He was laughing, Papa, and he does like to tease me, but I still feel nervous, Bernice said. Why don't you get ready and come downstairs to have breakfast? I will tell you what we will do today and what the visit to the doctor might be like. Is that honey cakes I smell, Papa? Bernice asked as she started to get out of bed. It sure is, but you better hurry. They are so tasty, I might eat them all up, Papa Bear said with a laugh. Don't do that, Papa. I'll be ready super fast, Bernice said as she rushed to get dressed. Bernice put on all her lucky clothes and raced downstairs for breakfast. I'm wearing my giraffe shirt, giraffe socks, and my pants with giraffes on them this morning, Papa, she said. You look just like Twigga, Papa Bear replied. After taking three great big bites of her breakfast, Bernice said, These honey cakes are super yummy, Papa, and my hot milk is super great, too. I made this special for you, little bear. Even Mama Bear didn't have honey cakes this morning. Thank you, Papa. So, what time are we going to the doctor today? Your appointment is at 10 a.m., so you won't be going to school this morning. 
But if we finish quickly, you can go after lunch. Bernice frowned. I hope my teachers don't miss me too much, Papa. I wouldn't want them to be sad. You can bring them some cookies tomorrow to cheer them up, Papa Bear said. After finishing a huge drink of milk, Bernice wiped the milk stash off her lip and asked, Are you sure the doctor won't stick big needles in my arms, Papa? I am sure. It's like the last time you went to see the doctor. But that was like a hundred years ago, Papa. I can't remember what happened. Mm, I do remember getting candy and a sticker, though. I think I saved the candy in my bedroom drawer. After setting a reminder on his phone to check for moldy candy in Bernice's room, Papa Bear said, Today is a checkup, just like the last time. And much of your time will be spent with the friendly nurses at the office. First, they will take some measurements, like your height, weight, blood pressure, and temperature. I've gotten super tall this year, Papa. Soon I will be taller than you. Bernice said excitedly. You have. After we visit with the nurse, the doctor will look at your ears, eyes, nose, throat, heart, lungs, belly, and skin, and test your reflexes. Testing your reflexes is one of the funny parts because the doctor will use a tiny rubber hammer to tap your knee. Every time the doctor does it to me, It makes me laugh, Papa Bear said. No needles, Papa? You have had all your vaccinations, little bear, and I don't think you even noticed the last time the nurse gave you one. I remember, Bernice said. I was looking at all the different colored lollipops, and then the nurse said it was all over. So this visit won't be so bad, right, Papa? It will be fun, little bear. And afterwards, we can have a special lunch together before you return to school. Can we have ice cream like we did after going to the dentist? Sure thing, little bear. We haven't had an ice cream treat in a long time. Papa? Yes, little bear? Can Twigga come too? I think he might want to see the doctor. Twigga can come, too. Maybe the doctor will check him first. After eating her delicious breakfast of honey cakes and hot milk, Bernice went to her bathroom to brush her teeth and wash her hands, making sure she did the best job ever. After she finished washing up, Bernice got her favorite lucky boots on which she wore not only when it was raining, but when she needed a little extra courage. Put on her jacket and got in the back seat of Papa Bear's car for the drive to the doctor's office. When they arrived at the doctor's office, Bernice said to Papa, I'm still a little nervous. Remember when we went to the dentist and you were nervous then? Yes, Papa. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? Bernice nodded her head. Don't worry, little bear. I would never take you somewhere that would scare you or hurt you. The doctor is our friend, and it's her job to make sure we are healthy. So let's be brave, take a great big breath, and go inside to visit the doctor. Bernice and her papa walked into the large building where the doctor's office was. Bernice felt kind of nervous, but she took a big breath, held Papa Bear's hand, and walked with him through the front door of the doctor's office that was at the back of the first floor of the building. Bernice and her papa walked through the reception area towards the desk, where a lady dressed in a bright striped jacket greeted them with a smile. Hi there, little bear. You must be Bernice. Yes, I am. I like your jacket, Bernice said. Well, 
I'm glad you like it. I think it matches well with my mask, the receptionist said. My friend Twigga likes your jacket and mask too, Bernice said, as she held up her stuffed giraffe to show the receptionist. Wow, I love your giraffe. My giraffe has a name too. His name is Twigga. That's a wonderful name. And guess what? The receptionist asked. What? Bernice whispered. I love your clothes too. I think I would like to dress like you. Thank you. Um, can Twigga get a checkup today too? Bernice asked. That will be up to Dr. McGinn, but I don't see why not. Why don't you go right in and the nurse will start your visit with us today. Okay, thank you, Bernice said. Bernice and Papa Bear walked in through the door to the back, where Bernice would first talk to a nurse. Good morning, Bernice. My name is Tracy, and I am going to take some measurements. How are you feeling today? Hi, Tracy. I am feeling fine, I guess, Bernice said, still a little bit nervous. Why don't you have a seat in this chair while I ask you a few questions? Then we are going to take those measurements. Okay, Miss Tracy, Bernice said, taking a seat. Are you ticklish today? Because I think some tests might make you giggle if you are. I am sometimes ticklish, Bernice said with a smile. The nurse put a check mark on the list she was carrying. Okay, good. Do you think your giraffe needs a checkup too? Yes, his name is Twigga, and he hasn't had a checkup in a super long time, Bernice said excitedly. Have you ever seen a giraffe with a sore throat? The nurse asked. I don't think Twigga has ever had a sore throat, Bernice said, giggling. Now, I want you to stand on this scale, and I am going to check your height and weight. Then, before you go in to see Dr. McGinn, I'll check your blood pressure and temperature. The nurse took all the measurements that she needed before taking Bernice and her papa into the doctor's office to wait for her to come in after she finished with another patient. Before I leave you to talk to the doctor, Bernice, can you show me your best silly face? The nurse said as she made her own silly face. I can try. Bernice said as she opened her mouth and eyes as wide as she could. That's pretty silly, the nurse said with a laugh. Dr. McGinn will be with you in a few minutes. The nurse is kind of silly, Papa. She certainly is, Papa Bear said. And you are doing very well this morning. Have you thought of what kind of ice cream we can have after lunch? I think we should have honey-flavored, Papa. Then, with a gentle knock on the door, Dr. McGinn entered the examination room. Good morning, Bernice and Twigga. It's not often I get to talk to a little bear and a giraffe at the same time, Dr. McGinn said with a smile. Are those suckers sticking out of your pocket? Bernice asked. They certainly are. There is one in there for you and Twigga. But you have to promise me not to open them until the end of our talk today. Bernice, Papa Bear, and Dr. McGinn had a short talk about how Bernice was growing, about taking care of her body, what foods to eat, and the importance of exercise. Then the doctor took out a strange-looking tool to look inside Bernice's eyes, ears, nose, and throat. The doctor then took out a small rubber hammer and tapped Bernice's knee with it, which caused her foot to automatically move outward. This made Bernice laugh, so the doctor did it again. It didn't work on Twig that well, though. Next, Bernice lay down on the comfy table, and the doctor pushed on her belly, which made Bernice laugh again. Is this the tickle test? Bernice asked. Oh, the nurse told you all about my tickle test, did she? I was hoping it would be a surprise.
Dr. McGinn said with a laugh. You certainly passed this test with flying colors. Well, that's all I have to check today. You are a healthy and ticklish little bear, the doctor said. And I am growing super fast, right? I think I will be bigger than Papa soon. You have grown a lot, Bernice. You will be bigger than your Papa in no time at all. Papa Bear sighed. Do you have any questions for me? The doctor asked. Can I change this green lollipop for a red one? Twigga likes red more, and I like to make sure he is happy. We can do that. Twigga is looking very healthy, too. After the doctor and Papa Bear had a short conversation, Bernice and Papa Bear left the doctor's office to go for lunch and ice cream. After they sat at their table at the small restaurant where they were having lunch, Papa Bear said, Now that was kind of a fun morning, don't you think, little bear? It was okay. The doctor and nurse were very nice, and it wasn't scary. But you know what the best part is, Papa? What's the best part? I get to spend time with you. I love you, little bear. I love you too, Papa. And that's the end of our story. Good night. Sleep tight.